All right, you know what we say, five minutes a day over time will make you dangerous. We're going to go back up here real quick and look at a little bit of this video. And this here is titled, let me pause this for a second. This is titled, Why Investors May Get a Rude Awakening. And this is um, this is Siegel, Jeremy Siegel, that's reporting on this. So let's go ahead and, and play this. And I probably need to unmute that first. Let me do that. All right, let's play this. And that means the Dow has about a thousand points to make up in the next four months. You really think we can get there? Right, but a thousand points today is what, about five percent? So uh, that's not that big an increase. And my belief that uh, second half of this year, G GDP growth is going to be between three and four percent. We're going to hit very near $120 on earnings. And even if interest rates go up a bit on the long run, we're not going to get any Fed hike, I think, until spring or summer next year, uh, I still think that's a mix for a bull market uh, in the last uh, four months. You also think, though, that the, the Fed very likely will drop the, that phrase considerable time. If that's the case, you, you don't think there's a knee-jerk market reaction just to uh, kind of clear out of equities for a little bit as people think, wait, maybe these yeah. rate hikes are coming sooner rather than later? Yeah, I, I, I do think, I think they're going to remove considerable time. I think there will be a bump uh, on Wednesday uh, when that happens. Uh, remember, the if you take a look at the Fed Funds futures market, they are below uh, the rates that the FOMC members uh, believe uh, is our Now market. we're getting into speculation, so I don't want to bore you with all that. So basically you're saying that the markets, the S&P is down. She's saying it's down about a, a thousand It'll be down about a thousand, and we've got a rebound going into the fourth quarter. And you know, and when it comes to the economy, the fourth quarter is the biggest quarter for uh, consumer sales. You've got holiday time, you've got Christmas, you got a lot of things like that. So it's always a big, a big time for for people. So let's go here. The Dow closed Monday at seventeen thousand thirty-one. So a move to eighteen thousand would be a five point six percent increase from current levels. 8.6% return for the year. Spent a lot of volatility to only give you 8.6% return. The Dow finished 2013 at 16,576, which was a 26.5% return. So you can kind of look at that. The S&P is under 2,000, and I'm sure that he's talking about cashing in on that. So there you have it. Let's go over to uh, the pre-markets, which at this point we're into the markets, so let's look at let's see what's up with the markets right now. I'm running a tad bit behind today for sure, so let's see where we are. S and P is up, the Dow is down about five points. S and P is up. Okay, I'm gonna pause this real quick. I hadn't had to do this before, but this is in business time, so let me pause this. Okay, I'm back. Let's go back and finish this out. I do apologize. Uh, S&P is again up. Dow's down. NASDAQ is down. Oh, wow. A lot of red until we get to the indices and the sector. So that doesn't look good. Let me go before I go to my portfolio. Let's go to Apple. Apple, ticker, symbol. Let's see what's up with Apple real quick. Oh, wow. Oh, that hurts right there. Watch this, you guys. Shows you prime evidence of greed. Prime evidence of greed. Look at this. Man, I can kick myself right now. All right. I didn't do it. I was supposed to sell yesterday for 101, and I tried to hold on one more day, and now the market is at 99.66 so I went from making about a thousand bucks with this stock down to about 474 bucks because I wouldn't sell it when it was time to sell it so it's a wrap I'm done I'm selling right now which ended up costing me half of my investment that I could have made instead of me making that is crazy and when you sell it during the open market it immediately comes off your 
your portfolio because the market's going on right now. So you see, it's out of there. It's not. It's going to be sold. It's. I, I took my money and I'm out. Man, that makes me mad. So I end up selling it at ninety nine sixty two, where I could have actually sold the doggone thing at one hundred and one. It was almost at one hundred two yesterday, off of the hype and the speculation. So. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. All right. Well, that's all I've got today. You you saw it live. Um, what happens in the real market? This is this is literally what happens. Five minutes a day over time will make you dangerous. Have a great day.